What's up YouTube? I have an interesting gameplay for you guys today. You see, we're just in the stage chilling. We got two sinners pulling up. What's that man's name? Ying Yang. One's got Lakers. They looking somewhat alike. Pretty cool. A paint beast and a finisher. Small forward with glass cleaning takeover. They both got the glass cleaning, so board should be no problem. But they're not too high of reps. This should really be an easy game. But something is going to happen that we all have had it happen in 2K. Uh, my teammate is going to lag out real quick like the video subscribe if you've ever had someone you're playing with lag out on you You see here. I'm on my two-way playmaker a dots on his two-way slashing play So, you know, we both can shoot we both can play defense. We both can pass we both could ISO really it's uh, you know It's just it's a really good lineup to run for stage But you see here starting off, you know, basically it's going exactly how it should be going you see here two centers I take the wide open midi right there release it a little bit bad and they get the ball that should be no problem though we should be able to get a billion stops on them I get the steal right there dot a dot two points two to zero uh, you know I got my I got my first shot of the game out of the way so now I can green every other shot I take you see here gonna die a dot I'm basically just gonna let him have all the room in the world because he's got a slow center on him well I mean I wouldn't call him slow. he's a finisher small forward so he's got a decent amount of speed but nothing Nothing crazy, you know, to keep up with a 99 speed uh, two-way slashing playmaker. Ada able to beat him right there. My man tries to hedge a little bit, you know, scare him, but it does not work at all. Four to zero. Uh, you see here, this man's playing back a little bit, so I am going to use the famous jab step and be able to hit a mini. Like I've said in videos before, if you guys don't have the greatest, like this build, I don't get pro dribble moves on this build. Using that jab step is a great way to get space to make defenders get on their toes. You see here, ADOT throws up something crazy. I'm able to get the board, and this is where it happens. I knew there must have been some reason that ADOT just pulled a very late, you know, 100% contested shot like that. And it's going to tell me right here. You see, I'm yelling at him to, you know, throw the ball in. Did your controller die? What's going on? He's actually able to pass it right there. And then the man disappears. I'm not sure what happened. I think, uh, yeah, I have no idea. But anyway, we're going. So I got two centers I have to beat now by myself with my two-way two -way playmaker build. Uh, you know, one one power forward against a finisher and a paint beast. It's not ideal. And you see this dude is posting up the AI. And he hits a 40% contested fade. As soon as he did that, I just knew this was going to be a long game. And, oh, man, I just, I was just wanting to grab the ball as soon as I could and get these guys out of here. Hopefully the AI, he's actually able to, uh, you know, have some IQ plays. This dude posted me down. I thought I might have been able to get a poke right there, but it doesn't work, so I got a foul. I got to be careful with the fouls because, really, these guys are going to keep paint mashing. I got to be able to save my foul because I'm probably going to get a couple accidental ones jumping. You see here, AI doing a little bit. But the thing is with the AI, you see he gets stuck on him right there. Once a, a small guy is stuck on a big, you can't really get a contest off that. So I don't want them to keep going at the AI. But of course, that's that's going to be their game plan. You know, if they got, <laughs> if they can, they're going to do it, whatever it takes to get the win. But the thing with the AI too, hopefully the AI is not brain dead. You know, sometimes AIs they're shooting half bar, you know, wide open three pointers. Other times they can't miss. So I just gotta hope my AI is gonna hit some open shots if they decide to double team me. You see here, posting up the AI. I'm able to use pogo stick, get the rebound right there, get the block. Uh, rim protector popping up, rebound chaser popping up. My quick first steps popping up for some reason right there because I was about to dash out. So eight to six. So now I just have to make it work with an AI. You see, I was calling for the AI to pass it a long time before that because I was actually in front of the dude. Unfortunately, the AI is just not quick enough on that. You see here, these guys are bumping me like crazy. The AI goes to the paint for some reason, dots me right there. That man jumps. Uh, they're just leaving him wide open and he would not shoot the shot. So I had to call for it right there, dunk. And as you guys can see, this is not one of the smart AIs I'm going to be playing with today. I'm going to be playing with a terrible AI. So basically, I, I can't rely on any help from that. I just got to do this myself. This dude's staying back, hitting him with some dribble moves. You know, two-way playmaker. I don't need pro dribble moves to dribble. You see, I dot the AI. He's just kind of standing there. Oh, I'm just trying to see what he's going to do. You know, I'm setting a screen for him. Uh, do something. He dots me wide open, mid-range, take that. The guy actually jumps. And I, I, I guess it didn't affect my shot. It said wide open. But it gave me like some weird hitch in my jump shot. Now we just got to guard these guys. You see here, he takes a 48% contested mid. AI not able to get the board. But I'm there on defense. He's going up again. Those hook shots are impossible to guard. What was supposed to be the easiest game, you know, basically free VC, has turned into a challenge against two bigs. You see here, he's throwing that. Luckily, the AI does have some defensive chops, apparently. Dots me right there. I tried to go in for the wide open dunk, and it makes me pull off. It's not looking good. It is an ugly game, but this 
video is about perseverance. You know, a lot of people, when their teammate lags out, they just give up. They just quit the game. They're like, well, I'm done. Especially if the guard lags out and the centers aren't used to, you know, just having to ISO, get all the points. But you see here, that's not happening with me. I knocked this man to the floor, get my third block of the game, two steals, three blocks. Defense is no problem. I'm going to be there on defense. We just need to get some scoring going now. So one second left. Luckily, they get a shot clock violation because the AI just got backdoored. And if they would have got an easy two right there after all that great defense, I would have been heartbroken. So you see here, we got to get some points on the board. I'm just trying. I'm hoping the AI will just like drive or something so I can get a wide open pop. That's my plan because really, I mean, <laughs> I just need the AI to grab some attention. I can't just have both these guys sitting in the paint on me. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work for shots and stuff. AI's got to help me out a little bit. Hopefully, they'll just guard the guy. You see here, I'm just going to ISO. See, he's actually paying a little bit more attention to the AI. So... And you see here, he fakes the green. Like I said, they're paying more attention, so I drove. But, of course, he goes all the way to the paint, gives the AI a wide open three. I'm calling for it. The AI's not moving. Get the midi right there. Green light. Was that a little bit of a contest? I don't know, but that was definitely a great sidestep. Yeah, 13%. They're trying, but it's not working. 8 to 14 just need, you know, a few more buckets. Let's see what we can do. Uh, if you guys ever have an AI on your team, you can hold L1 to, uh, or, you know, the left bumper to call a screen. You see here, so I actually do that just to make some weird stuff go on. And it's 8 to 16 now. With my build, the most efficient shot, you know, middies and dunks. That's what I'm trying to get to. Of course, the big men, they're not going to give it to me, so I just got to be weird with the ball. AI just calling for the screen, getting them to do something so they can't just double team me. I'm able to hit a pop right there. 8 to 18, 12 points. It's looking good. We just got to hit one more three now. Should I let the AI shoot the wide open three? Would you guys trust it? I know 100% they're going to give it to him. I'm able to get a dunk right there, though. I'm putting it to 20 to 8 just in case. You know, I don't want to rely on the AI having to hit a three for game winner. So I'm just going to make it where I can finish it off with a two. 8 to 20 AI dots me. My man playing back right there. He doesn't want to get killed for a dunk. And I hit a green fade. Or not really a fade. Just a step back mini right there. 8 for 13. 16 points. 3 rebounds. Good game. Like I said, guys, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.